All right, so I, I definitely felt and saw the wind today. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that going to continue, or are we going to... It was windy Mind today. It, it should not be nearly as windy tomorrow, even mm -hmm. though we still have rain in the forecast really over the next several days. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we're going to be seeing any wind like what we saw earlier today anytime mm -hmm. soon. Yeah, it was, uh, we'll call it a late season storm that moved yeah. here today. Check out some of these wind gusts reported earlier today out at Everett, nearly 50 miles per hour. That was just before noon today. Shelton also recorded some strong wind and out at SeaTac, the strongest wind gusts happened just before two o'clock, 41 miles per hour. The wind has died down. Uh, we did see a brief lull in the rainfall, but guess what? The rain is moving right back in. It's going to be wet overnight tonight. 52 degrees right now. Temperatures will probably stay in the mid to upper 40s overnight tonight. You can see south wind right now at five miles per hour, basically calm across most of western Washington and Puget Sound. Again, the break is pretty much done. The rain is already moving back into the region from Seattle southward. Uh, still some drier conditions further north, but this uh, batch of more light but steady rain is going to be moving over most of western Washington. Washington. We're looking at about a, we'll say a quarter to a third of an inch of additional rainfall. It could be a lot uh, wetter. Uh, there's actually a big stream of moisture that stretches way offshore. I want to back things up and we'll show you just how far south the stream makes it all the way down south to about 100 or 200 miles north of Hawaii. Uh, this is a, a basically a weak atmospheric river setup. It stretches for about 2000 miles or so. Now if this thing was aiming right at us, we could be talking about inches of rain. That's not going to happen. This is going to slip a little further south. We're going to get a glancing blow and the most uh, of the rainfall is actually going to be slipping to our south down over uh, our neighbors in Oregon and Northern California. They're going to get the brunt of this next weather system, but again, it is going to be wet tonight. Uh, notice pretty steady rain through uh, at least about five, six o'clock in the morning. Then as we head deeper into the morning, most of the rain kind of fizzles out and most of the daylight hours of tomorrow are probably going to be dry, not really dry for much longer than uh, say this uh, Sunday afternoon. Notice by seven o'clock at night, the rain starts to move back in. So we see these waves of rain showers kind of moving overhead over the next couple of days. So as we start into the new work week, Monday, especially during the morning hours is going to be wet and then we'll see showers fade Monday afternoon and we should see a brief lull in the activity on Tuesday. Uh, by the way, it did snow up at White Pass today, elevation of about uh, say 4,500 feet or so. The mountains did, be, did see a little bit of snowfall uh, and I do want to mention that a lot of our resorts are still open. Uh, here's the posted closing date. Mount Baker, Stevens Pass, April 24th, or April 21st. Alpental actually closing on May the 5th. Do a little bit of uh, May skiing. Hopefully the conditions stay nice for them. Crystal Mountain, April 21st, and White Pass uh, set to close on April the 28th. Mountain forecast for tomorrow. A couple more inches of snowfall, uh, especially tonight into tomorrow morning, so some fresh powder. Uh, the snow elevation down to as low as about uh, 4,000 feet or so, so especially the higher lifts uh, will be seeing some fresh snowfall tonight. Uh, overall, most of tomorrow, not very wet, but as we head into Sunday night and Monday morning, uh, rain at times. As we head into Tuesday, a brief lull, more showers Wednesday and Thursday, and the best chance for a completely dry day, that's next Friday when temperatures warm into the lower 60s. So new month, it's a new weather pattern. Again, March, one of the driest ever. Yeah. This, uh, April is starting off on a wet note. So, but this is rain that's much needed, right? Much needed, yeah, especially the snowfall in the mountains. All right, thanks, Ben.